Welcome back, students. We are going to continue in Unit 5. We are on page 33. We are on page 33, so please go to that page in your book. We are going to work on the conversation section. We will listen, and then we will answer these questions. And then here, we will listen to this audio, and we will answer these questions. And that will be it for page 33. So this conversation is from a story called The Old Man and the Sea. It is written by Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway is one of my favorite authors, and this is one of my favorite books. It is a very, very good story. I would recommend reading it in your spare time. So let's get started with the conversation. Page 33. Conversation. What are you reading? The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. What's it about? It's about this aging fisherman and his battle with a giant marlin. What's so interesting about that? It was no regular marlin. This fish was huge. Tell me about it. Well, the old man hadn't caught a fish for 84 days. Is that so? Poor guy. Anyway, his luck changed. He caught a marlin, but the fish pulled him out to sea. He fought for three days to bring the fish into shore. When he finally got there, he discovered that there was little left of his fish. Really? Yeah. The sharks had eaten most of it. And then what happened to the old man? I'm not going to tell you. Read the book and you'll find out. Ah, que grossera. <laughs> All right. But really, I would recommend reading this book. So let's check out this conversation strategy real quick. Expressing interest. You can use phrases like, ah, oh, tell me about it. And then what happened? So as you can see, that was what the guy said to her. Ah, tell me about it. Is that so? Really? And then what happened? That's how you show interest in a conversation. So in surprise, is that so? Really? No way. All right, so let's go to the about the conversation. If you need more space, you can answer these in your notebook. Just make sure you take a picture of the work in your notebook. So, what is the old man and the sea about? Oh, what is the story about? So, here we go. What's it about? It's about this aging fisherman and his battle with a giant giant marlin. So this right here is your answer for number one. So what's it about? It's about this aging fisherman and his battle with the giant marlin. You can write that here. Number two, why was the old fisherman unlucky? So unlucky is the opposite of lucky. So unlucky means you don't have luck. So let's say, why was he unlucky? What do you think? I think it's right here. The old man hadn't caught a fish for 84 days. So, and then she says, anyway, his luck changed. So if his luck changed, this is why he was unlucky. So that is your answer for number two. And this is why I know his luck changed. So if his luck changed, this was the bad luck. Number three, what had happened to his huge fish? All right, so... He caught a marlin, but the fish pulled him out to sea. He fought for three days. When he finally got there, he discovered there was little left of his fish. Okay, so why was there little left of his fish? 
because the sharks had eaten most of it. So what had happened to his huge fish? The sharks had eaten most of it. That is your number three. So that is everything for this section. So let's check it off. And now let's go to listening. So listen, and then we'll answer these questions together. Page 33. Listening. Listen to the two people each tell a story. Complete the sentences. Mia. I was really nervous. In fact, I was scared to death. I'd never been on a plane before. I held onto my friend's arm and closed my eyes. But after the plane had taken off and the flight attendants had served some hot coffee, I felt much better. I lost my fear, and I was able to look out the window at the ground below. Christopher When I opened the door, I heard voices in my bedroom upstairs. I thought someone had broken into my house while I was out. I know you should call the police first, but my curiosity was too strong. I went up the stairs very quietly and peeped into my room. There was no one there. I'd forgotten to turn off the TV set. All right, so let's listen to that again, and then we will... Page 33. Listening. Listen to the two people each tell a story. Complete the sentences. Mia. I was really nervous. In fact, I was scared to death. I'd never been on a plane before. I held onto my friend's arm and closed my eyes. But after the plane had taken off and the flight attendants had served some hot coffee, I felt much better. I lost my fear, and I was able to look out the window at the ground below. Christopher. When I opened the door, I heard voices in my bedroom upstairs. I thought someone had broken into my house while I was out. I know you should call the police first, but my curiosity was too strong. I went up the stairs very quietly and peeped into my room. There was no one there. I'd forgotten to turn off the TV set. All right, so now let's answer these. So why was Mia scared? Mia was scared because she had never been on a plane before. Excellent. Number two, Mia felt better after the plane. Excuse me. Why did she feel better? She felt better after the plane had taken off and the flight attendants served coffee. So flight attendant, these are the men and women that work on the plane, that bring the drinks, that help you if you need something on the plane, flight attendants. So Mia felt better after the plane had taken off and the flight attendants, let's make this a little more correct, had served coffee. You always want to make sure that you have the same verb tense throughout your sentence. Had taken off, had served coffee. Number three, Christopher thought that someone had broken into his house. All right, broken into his house, significa that uh, someone broke a window or someone broke a door and they are in your house trying to steal things. So Christopher thought that someone had broken into his house. And number four, Christopher had forgotten. What did Christopher forget? He had forgotten to turn off the TV set. Okay, I'm going to put parentheses, oops, sorry. I'm going to put parentheses around set. Oh man, what's going on? Because it is optional. 
in the olden days, people used to say TV set is when it was the TV speakers. It was a big cabinet. Everything was a set, like you say, a juego, un juego. So nowadays, you can just say TV. You don't have to say TV set, just TV. That is everything for page 33. Practice reading these sentences to yourself, listening, reading the story out loud. This will help you with your reading, your listening, and your speaking skills. In the next video, we will work on the grammar section.